The spring training grind rolls on, and each day the Braves continue their preparation for the regular season. Every player's goal is to be ready for opening day. One player that knows spring training battles all too well is third baseman Austin Riley. Austin earned his spot as the Atlanta Braves starting third baseman right here in Northport. You know, it's going, going good so far. You know, happy to get back in the swing of things. You know, obviously didn't like the way, you know, last year ended, you know, and, and have, you know, a little, little spark to get, get back after it. There's a reason why I chose this game. I still have that passion. You know, my first AB here in spring, uh, I still had the jitters. It's just, like I said, it's, you know, if I didn't have that feeling, I think it would be time to, to hang it up. And so, thankfully, I still I still get those feelings. Yeah, look, when you, when, you, when you went and you dropped it here, look, yeah, you got, you, you, see, you got to get this front one. That's a man there. Because now. I play with it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Way back. Yeah. Just got to, when you, when you go to that angle and you get ready to hit. Every year, you know, you're, you're fighting for a spot. Somebody's coming behind you trying to take your job. The worst thing you can do is put that on more pressure on yourself and then try to be somebody that you're not. And, and then ultimately, you know, most of the time that, that doesn't work out. So it's just, you know, go out there playing, playing your game. Be yourself and trust, trust in your ability. There's a reason why you're here and, and go out there and play your game. What the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself today. What do you mean? Because well, you're old. I'm not old. Uh, eh, pretty old. No, not really. As Schnitt said, it will take every member of the Braves organization to achieve their goal of a World Series. With that in mind, Atlanta is happy to have Ozzy Albies back in the lineup. Ozzy falls down, hope he's okay. And he just went straight down, that doesn't look good at all. No, I don't know. Ozzy comes out of the game after everything he went through to get back here and then have that happen. I hate it for him. Just my heart breaks for him. Obviously, you don't plan on getting injured. You just play and stuff happens. It was a hard time, but I'm really happy to be back. Mentally, I kept myself strong and positive, so I can, you know, always, always think positive on the good side. I don't even want to use the word frustrated because it's not frustrated, it's part of the game. I just kept my head up, smiling always. I think if you, like I said, if you stay positive, good things happen. You look tired. I'm fine. <laughs> Gallops, low level. Or, uh, sorry, Pogos. Pogos, low level. Washington Did line drives. Ask him about it. I told him I got him out of his game. Tell him when you get out there. Rattles? Yeah. He was trying to get me. You hate it for a guy like Ozzy because you know how much he loves to play. I mean, he's got tons of energy, loves to play the game, plays it the right way. He's been just working really hard. He's healthy, and so it's going to be good to get him back out there. I haven't felt it since November. Felt a little bit after not being on it. Yeah, right. That's the only thing. But nothing like pain or, you know, nothing. They didn't bother me. I like to work because I want to be the best out there. You guys see me, I put work in every day. No matter the time, no matter if it's raining, snowing, it doesn't matter. If Wash is out there, I'm out there. If Sides, Magallanes is in the cage, I'm in the cage. Yeah, mira, ya la pierna, Ozzy, You're, it's already there. Not just here, don't go down. There you go, look at that. Money. You gotta go hard every day. <laughs> We have an established team now. We've worked really hard to put ourselves in that position. We got a young, a lot of young major leaguers that they're, have gained a lot of unbelievable experience the last few years. I mean, they've been in game sevens, they've won National League championships, they've won world championships, they've been in the playoffs the last five years. It's a young, talented group that continues to get experience every year. And, you know, we're just, what we want them to do is just to keep working at their, their, their craft. It's a really fun group to watch work. The guy that's younger than me that see me play, there's a lot of them that tell me, hey, I want to take your job. I want to play second base. And that's the right attitude to, to go towards things when you really want it. So to me, I go hard every day no matter what. 
because I want to be here for a long time. And that's, that's the goal I have, to play this game as long as I can, till my body breaks down. <laughs> that's my goal. Hey, shout out to Arsha. He's right in the back. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> Like as opposed, like going and getting that, that this, this way as opposed to that little bit of recoil right. that you have. Trying to get the bad head out and then immediately swing, I call it okay, east, thank you. you swing east, you know? And that's that's where you get the top spin. Just keep your nose down in there. Gonna, I told them. So I met Jason through a buddy of mine who's an ex-player, his name's Michael McHenry. He said, hey, I was going through the yips at that point, he said, hey, I got a guy that you could uh, meet that I really think would help you a ton, and uh, that happened to be Jason Kuhn. He's helped me get back to the big leagues. When I met him, I, was, I couldn't play catch, couldn't throw the ball, I had the yips, didn't believe in myself. I think he's got a message that uh, I think every player can hear or should hear and that it, it'll help them perform on the field. And I'd feel selfish if I wasn't bringing it and, and giving it to all the teammates on the Braves. Hey guys, I really appreciate the opportunity to spend some time with you here today. So I'm a performance coach, former Navy SEAL, played ball in college. Through my experiences in training and then later on in combat, I learned a lot of things about performance that I wish I had had a better understanding of as a baseball player that I think would have helped prolong my career. That's what I want to share with you all today are some of those lessons learned. You play the hardest game there is to play, and you play it at the highest levels. And I can only imagine the difficulties of that. But I do know this, difficult times is where we leave our legacy. The question is, what will we do with ours? When you walk up to the plate, be hard to kill. Value every pitch as your last, because one day it will be. Go do what you came here to do, wage war. 1-1 pitch is drilled, deep right center field, back towards the gap, and that is off the top of the wall. That is a two-run home run by Matt Olson. This one is hammered, straight away center field, deep into the Florida sky, and a home run by Riley. Elite teams play for each other. We set aside our differences to serve a greater and common cause, because that's how winning is done, and it pays to be a winner. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> Major League Two is the better movie than That's Major League One. That's the dumbest thing you've ever no, said. It's not. It's which is impressive for you, because you say a lot Everybody of dumb stuff. No. No. Anybody have anything controversial to say? Anything controversial? Uh oh. I like you more. like the mustache? Thank you. Thank you. I would say I like yours, but you have the opposite of what I have. Yeah, maybe you Yeah, you gotta flip it. Yeah, right. He's wearing a wire. That's why they call Northport the Windy City. Here in the Big Apple. There's a cutter. Big Apple, even bigger city. I'm wearing a wire. Shades to the line, flips underhand, gets killed by the runner who's not here, but would have killed him. Oh my goodness, how do you hold that? Face your fears, Jackson. Right here. Don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. I got to throw tomorrow. I'm going to save the bullets. Thanks. Scientific analyzation or analysis. It's not a word. Yeah. Oh, what the? That was disgusting.
I think that nice. mental performance is sort of the gateway to optimizing every part of your game. I think without that, without training that muscle in your brain to, to learn how to have a growth mindset, control what you can control, whatever the catch-all cliche phrases you want to you say they are, those things are what enable you to get the most out of your, yourself. Last year, I came in with very low expectations of making the team. I just wanted to, to pitch well. You know, I went from being in low A and the, nobody in the big league level knew who I was to making my debut and then came into camp and still nobody really knew anything about me. So for me, it was just I want to come in and, and, and you know take advantage of the opportunity to pitch to big league hitters in spring training and what was a shortened spring training and present myself well in front of everybody. And I think that's all you can control, whether you're pitching in relief in a game or you're starting. I mean, the, the goal is to, to go out and just perform. Strider's been great. I mean, he's just, uh, you know, he's another one that's unbelievably driven and, and wants to always looking for something to make himself better. You know, he, the year didn't end like he wanted with the little oblique issue that he had, but he's very he's strong. He's healthy right now, and, and um, I think he's really looking forward to getting the season rolling. Hey, we got on that changeup. Hey, we got on the changeup. So let me be honest with you. You were throwing what 90, 90 something like that. That's what Penny said. Okay. And uh, to me, I got to cheat to get to that ball. Right. So if you throw the change up, you got me all. It stays a strike. Uh, you got me all. That's, yes. I don't really care about the movement. I just want it to not be my fastball. Yes. So if it looks like a strike. Looks like a fastball. It's right. not. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, that, that's exactly what I want. Is a fastball. It's a ground ball. Yeah. Holds that's what you look for. That's all. Yeah. It's like I don't have contact. That's it. Perfect. It was amazing. Our focus is on day-to-day -day with our long-term sights on October. The short-term goal is to win the division, because until you do that, you don't give yourself a chance to do anything special. That's why we're coming out here and doing all the fundamentals and come be out here early in the morning, why we're working so hard on things for a championship season. The way it ended last year, we wanted you know to, to be the last man standing. I think we have the team this year to do that. As long as we are, we stay healthy and play our game, we, we have every every chance to, to do that. You gotta have the right attitude for things to come back your way. Mindset is to go in the season, go win it all again, win the World Series again. That's kind of the mindset that you have to take and, and make sure that you're preparing yourself as best as you can, not just for tomorrow or opening day, but for the whole season. That starts here.